This is Downfall. I guess a prequel slash sequel to the Cat Lady, I believe. Uh, these games are incredible. They deal with a lot of... So what do you think, Joe? Emotionally difficult topics. I think it's bullshit. But that voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. Yeah. He's a big fat liar. He's not. What? I don't remember this. <laughs> I was like, what? Did I play the same game? He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. <gasps> a gangster? Gangster, my ass. Damn. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. What a whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's that's my younger bro. Use arrow keys to move. We doing it. We... You guys hear cats? I hear a cat. You know, like when you hear so, like you hear a cat crying outside and you can't tell if it's if it's a child crying somewhere or a cat. It's like really unsettling. What the hell is that? Girl. Oh she. Wait, where's the girl? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was. I thought I was pointing like to the cup of coffee. <laughs> wow, she's pretty. If I was a cat. I'd spend all night. Ah, uh, smooth. Smooth. Do you really think cats have nine lives? Totally. Anyone who, who who's owned a cat knows that. No, it's just silly stuff for kids. Totally. Yeah, sure. yeah, sure, yeah. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black, like a devil. What? Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So wow. I just... Never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. This girl's like depression incarnate. Well, uh, like, yeah, thanks for the Swedish stereotypes. Uh, grew up in Sweden, by the way. Like, uh, I, I lived there pretty much my whole life. Uh, fun fact. A lot of Swedes are not naturally blonde, <laughs> as you may have guessed. Um. Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. Pog. I'm American? Cool. Like you, I'm an American. <laughs> nice flowers. Yeah. But I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. Red is a good color, to be He's fair. Back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you have ice cream in Sweden? Do you have brains in America? Oh! <laughs> yes! Scold him. What the fuck? I, who says this? I know a place where cats go to die. No! Uh, Why are you sitting here? Yeah, yeah. My mom's inside. Eating. And she oh. left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. Hmm. I don't want to say that. Why is the game making me say that? I don't want to say that. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. He can fuck off. <gasps> oh my god. This. <laughs> How to not pick up girls? place where cats go to die yeah it's just down the road a cat cemetery not quite it's just the backyard with some rubbish bins but the cats are really go there to die when they're old or sick it's really weird i can show you but i should probably wait for my mom about that cat place yeah You'd be back in five minutes. I don't know. She'd be really mad at me. There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But I 
don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun. Like, go to a cat pl death place. Not morbid at all. Dude, what the heck? I'm getting some really red... I'm getting okay. some red flags about the food remark. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Also, I just realized that I, I don't think I ever checked on my brother. I'm horrible. Why is he acting like a kid never... I know he's being really weird. Like... I don't know exactly how old they're supposed to be here. Probably like, what would you guys say? 13? 14? Younger? 13? 12? I don't know. Is he acting like, you know, yeah, he's being super weird. <laughs> God. There's the red flowers there. She said she likes red flowers. I don't want to look like a sissy. Oh my God. Do you like them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No, let them grow. They're beautiful as they are. Yeah. Oh my god, those cats in the background. Oh no, you're beautiful, dude. No. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Why does exactly. he sound all creepy? Maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Joe, please. Got ya. Joe, please. My God, what is wrong with this child? Look at his strut. He's like, yep. Oh. Is this it? Yep. But it's just one cat, and it's not even dead. You, you really, girl, you really came out here wanting to see dead cats. Is she more messed up than he is? <gasps> oh, they, they, I get it. They're soulmates. I guess no cats died today. That, or they all had some spare lives left. This one looks like he's on his last one. Huh. You don't really like cats, do you? Cats are great. Not that much. I knew it. Oops. I don't hate them. But they're so cool. Look. What a good. He likes Aww, you. Oh, good cat. Aww, you're such a lovely pussy cat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Do I have to? Yes, you yes. do. Do it right uh, now. I love cats. cats. Obviously. What if it is a zombie cat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that uh throwback do you guys remember the throwback to uh cat lady the big zombie cat that looks like tofu the big gray one on the bed oh my god i love this what if it is a zombie cat Aww. hey i guess cats don't really like me don't worry about it i'll tell my black cat to go easy on you i mean if we're... if we're still friends by then... Ice cream! It's Brady. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Dead cats and ice cream. Heck yeah! I guess that's how kids have fun nowadays. Back in my day, it was, uh... Uh, it was playing... Pogs and... Uh, other pretend games. Nowadays, it's it's dead cats and uh, and yeah. Brady's such a nice guy. He's my dad's friend, which means free ice cream. Hey, Brady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Nice accent. Two scoops of chocolate. I'm not even asking her. Vanilla. Hmm, what do I want? Milk chocolate. All of them sound so good. Coconut cream. Two scoops of chocolate, please. Chocolate coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. 
I don't want any. Three ice cream. You can't say no to that. She'll have chocolate. Oh my god, that's like really controlling. That's like a bit disturb disturbing. Why not? Should it's free ice cream. You can't say no to that. I... I really shouldn't. Thanks for the offer, but... I can't. Hmm. Why not? Because... Patty's being pushy. No. Just... No. Don't you like ice cream? I do. But... She'll have chocolate. Girls love chocolate. What the f I said no, and no means no. Woo! What a thing to say. You should probably go after her, dude. Yeah, dude. Go after her right now. Like, oh shit. Smooth, smooth, Joe, smooth. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. You could have said you don't like ice cream. That's not what she said, though. She just doesn't like food, period. I'm sorry. No. It's my fault. I, I freak out sometimes. It's okay. Are we good? We're good. Fist bump. Cringe. What's everyone's favorite ice cream flavor, chat? Let's hear it. I found it. Really? Oh my god. It scared me. Yes. It's right where he said it was. But I kind of need your help. It's stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? What are they looking for? He thinks there's a suitcase of money oh. hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there. And someone picks it up the next day. Wow. Really? You You're gonna get shot, it? dude! Do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there, waiting for us. No, it's not! Child, have you not seen a single- You know what, never mind. <sighs> this kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. But it's there, I can show you. There's a hole in the fence. Just follow me. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. It's not safe for you, Ivy. Just wait here. Really? It's a building site. I don't want you to get hurt. I won't. No. We'll be back in two minutes. Kind of. We're gonna be oh. rich. Wait. What did he say? Oh, I thought he said. <laughs> I thought he said bitch. He said we're gonna be rich. Okay, okay. <laughs> you never said we were looking for pirate treasure. I don't care whose treasure it is. It's there. Want it. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know about this. Return the slab. Looks too heavy to move it by hand. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around. See if I can find something. But don't you worry, girly. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Hey, I think I found what we need. Is it like chewy as well? What are you doing here? I told you to wait. It's not safe. I missed the treasure hunt? I don't think so. Okay, okay. Just wait with my brother. I'll be right back. Oh, she. Bye. Oh, how convenient. It's an iron bar. Didn't think it would be so easy. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, shit. Run! What is it? Step away, both of you. It's grenades. A great bowl of freaking grenades. No Grenades? But where's the money? There is no money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Why would they hide grenades here? 
I don't know. It's a, it's a construction terrorists. site. We should call the police. Yeah, but first, let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go. I, I thought he meant it was like maybe dynamite or something. N not that they would use that on a construction site, but I don't know. Come on, Robbie. We should probably leave that alone. No. Dude, stop it right now. What do you mean, no? I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's got to be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, is always looking for stuff like this. Don't do it! Leave it alone, you dipshit. Oh my god. Do you think we care? Birds are like, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> right. So, it, clearly, this guy has had a pretty messed up childhood. I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away. I knew it was her. Huh. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. That... I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. It's way too soon. We were happy together. But, you know, so sometimes it might work. The you never know. Ran out. The crack started to show. Uh-oh. It was like Silent Hill 2, kinda, guys. But I knew how to fix it. Uh-oh. Bam, ba -da, bam, bam, bam. So there we go. We have finished the intro of Downfall. This game is very, very Silent Hill 2-esque, guys. But it's like really disturbing. Harvester Games. So they just came out with a new game, which uh, I'm very excited to play. Burnhouse Lane. In fact, that's the whole reason I'm playing uh, the Cat Lady and Downfall. Oh, she. Cat jammies. Oh, cat jammies. Cat jammies. nice call on the uh the disclaimer and the warning by the way yeah this definitely contains some really disturbing stuff and sensitive content so uh that being said don't even think about watching this if you're under 18 or i'm gonna be very mad i know right <laughs> maybe before the kid got blown up with a grenade holy shit yeah kick this look guys well 
here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't Quiet want you Haven. feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Damn. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? Come on, darling. Don't do this to me. I understand you've been stressed. So have I, but but it's time to let go of that shit and try to be ourselves. Hmm. So please, don't give me this silent treatment. We the silent hill here. treatment. We will start again here. Oh, she. But yeah, the, the music in these games is a real freaking banger. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired. And I really don't need this. Damn. Giving me the silent treatment. Yeah, so he's being kind of um I don't know. Like if you've if you know you've not really done anything for sure, like just leave it be, you know. Clearly this girl is very anxious. make a scene in front of people oh yeah good job good job just just cause a bit like have a big fight when you get to the hotel that that's supposed to you know be this amazing relaxing vacation yeah just cause a big fight i give up god so honestly both of these are really bad can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people i don't want to look like an idiot again Especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. Woof. Whatever I did, I'm. I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. I give up. Let's book us in. There's Let's go. Someone here who can give us a room. Let's go. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. She's like, okay, bye. Reception. A telephone. There's nothing unusual about it. Who should I call? I don't know who I could call. <laughs> I know someone. Ghostbusters! Wait, call for assistance? Nobody here. Oh, right. It's it's the... I thought I was examining the painting. Sorry, the air is a bit weird. So, let's have a quick look around. We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She'll never know. <gasps> what did he do to the cat? It reads, Teacup, the key master. <gasps> Teacup, that was uh, one of Susan's main cats. Take free gift. There are fridge magnets advertising Quiet Haven Hotel. I'll take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Sick. She's, Ivy? She's just walking Where away. Where are you going? Item, um... I'm not gonna go out without her, obviously. Let me just check out the reception first, before... Not the cat! What did he do? Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? You forgot that videotape we made. That picture is cursed. What, this one? Void cats are some of the best. Although I'm very partial to great cats for uh, obvious reasons. That p oh god, kitchen door. Oh, we already been through there. 
Ma'am? Devil came through here. <gasps> Devil came through here. That's the name of the collection. <laughs> you got your volume back. Um. Hey, you got your voice back. Oh, uh... Are we okay now? <laughs> Can we go back to that room? You are not alone, Joe. Your voice back. They are watching us. I thought he was gonna be toxic to her. Uh oh, who's bad people? Uh oh. They live in the mirrors. Uh oh. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. Um. They've gone now, but soon they will return. Maybe this is a bad idea for uh vacation. What the hell are you talking about? Oh my god. I knew you were in I was just... What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... No! Oh my god! Get away from him! <gasps> I... Is this lady okay? They're gone now. Joe, you might need to like... Who's gone? I don't understand. The big fat flesh-eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouth. They are always hungry. And they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Sounds kind of like the parasites from, uh, yeah, the previous game. This is crazy. Say that. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I, I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. But I paid yeah. for the the storm and that's exactly why we can't leave there are worse things than the storm you know oh she losing yeah you're losing your goddamn mind for one exactly yeah, you losing your goddamn mind for one now pull yourself together and follow me i'm sick and tired of this conversation Jeez. So, I mean, the credit, like, how long has she, has she been acting like this always? Or is it, like, just her being here? Whatever's, whatever presence is unsettling her. It's locked. Uh oh. Okay. Hello. Oh, shit. Hi. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to get a room. Uh-oh. We have a, a little problem. My wife, she, she's not feeling too well. Is there a pharmacy still open? Oh my, not a headache, is it? Something like that. What a shame. But I'm afraid there's nothing I can do tonight, especially with the storm coming. There's a doctor staying in the hotel though. He's practically a resident. We call him Dr. Z, a German chap. Talk to him in the morning. He might help. Right. Thanks. Dr. Z. Totally not related to Dr. X. We'd like to get a room. I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! Uh, yes. <laughs> There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Ah, yes. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room, I'm afraid there is one problem. Uh, 
Oh. Uh, Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Oh. Uh, Two singles. Is that okay with you? That's fine. We'll we'll be like uh we'll be like the married um the married couple whose house we enter in Resident Evil Survivor. You know, the, they have like two single beds instead for whatever reason. It's fine, I guess. It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. I was just thinking that. It's interesting. I have like little accessories that are highlighted in red. Like her, she has something on her skirt. And um, the woman has like a belt. Oh. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? Joe Davis. You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. Look at that painting up above her. That's... Yeah, what? The, that's, that's really disturbing. Hold on. Can I, like, do anything else? They have no bathroom. Oh, no. Oh, and one more thing. What now? Can it really not wait until tomorrow? Not really. This is important. There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. Uh -huh. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. <laughs> she should not be disturbed. Oh, she's a demon, totally. We're not going to whisper and tiptoe around if that's what you yeah, mean. Yeah, what the hell? It's not my fault. You're I'm paying for this. Paper thin. But we're going straight to bed anyway, so yeah. I really don't think we'll disturb anyone. Good night. Bye. Let's go up. Pictures. Oh, an elephant. Oh, yes. An elephant. You guys ever been in a really creepy hotel that freaked you out, guys? I mean, hotels in general do that to me, but any anyone in particular? So that is one or two. That's where the lady's staying, right? So apparently we're not supposed to disturb the woman in this room. <laughs> Why would I enter? That's insane. Alright. Unassuming. I should unlock it first. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. You guys notice how he has like that that James Sunderland thing going? Look. He's a survivor. If there was color, his jacket would totally be green. Oh my god. All right. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. Hmm. We said some really good things. Maybe you're just tired. I hope you had fun playing Psycho Bitch in front of that woman. Oh my god. I guess uh, there there is a bit of a choice, just like with the other game. You can kind of choose like how you behave towards you know the other person, and that ultimately affects some of the things that happen. But you said some really weird things. It's like you completely lost it there. You know. But I'm okay now. Am I? How the hell should I know? You could be on a whole new trip right now, as far as I know. I I blacked out for a bit. I. I think. And I was dreaming. There was... There was a woman there in the mirror. She was so fat and naked and covered in blood. Hmm. So, spoiler alert. She has an eating disorder. I don't know if it's anorexia, bulimia, whatever, but I'm guessing from my experience, um, anorexia, but yeah, so I guess, you know, if his, if he knows her, he obviously knows his wife, he knows she, she has this, maybe he would think, oh, she's just being insecure about herself, but. 
I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next, you're someone different. I don't even know. Hmm. What if that person has always been in me? But you, you didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. Hmm. You want to bet. What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. Oh no. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Hmm. Let's do this. Where do I start? I miss you and after a couple hours. Oh no! Let's start with this so one. so cute in my Nirvana t -shirt. Yes! Oh, and this. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. But most of all, I guess, I... I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. Can it be any other way? I only... I only wear that t-shirt to hide my body. From me? From you as well. And when was the last time you held me in your arms? Because I can't remember. I'm sure neither can you. Not finally. You want to be with me forever. Oh my god. No, I've got a ring that says just that. But I don't remember where I put. Maybe I'd lost it. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday, it's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. I I want to go with the bottom option, obviously, but I also kind of really wonder what happens if you do this. Like, does it change much? Hmm. Keep him away from pillows, right? No, uh, no videotapes, no tape recorders, uh, no cameras, and no pillows for him. No, 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 no. I still love you. Oh my god. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. I oh. do! We might as well play a happy couple one last time. Bruh, I should have just I should have just said we're finished. In my dreams I visit this place. <gasps> the only one that never changes. In my dreams. My escape. I see that down. Oh my no. Oh no. So has, has she like been like this for a long time, I guess? I mean, that's gotta be really hard to deal with though. It's quite a, quite an intense game as, whoa! Whoa, oh, oh, oh! Oh, we're just fine. We are just great. Ooh. So he's probably going to dream about his brother, I guess. Helen Road, this is where we live. Let's go. Examine, uh, coming to the mailbox, Joe and Ivy Davis flat four. Looks like there's something inside. It's locked. Maybe I could force it open. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. So even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. This is uh, this is where uh, the cat lady lived. Whoa, dude. 
Uh, it's a door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. Looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? In my in restless dreams, I see that down. Force open. Do it. Damn it. My fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. Magnet? No. Obviously not that. Oh, what? Oh! A screwdriver inside a book? How odd. I better take it with me. What? The so who's enjoying the vibes of this so far? Letter. Oh. Sure, I guess. It's from Frank Zellman. Do I know him? The name seems vaguely familiar. There's a 10 pound note and a key inside. Weird. Why would anyone send me this? Hey, money. Don't knock it. Why would anyone send me money? <laughs> Can pay the demon strippers. All right. Clock. Our cat Lucifer would have loved this cat lock. Oh my god, a cat named Lucifer. That's adorable. So we got a cat cat clock. Ten pounds. Wow. Hello? Hey, who are you? That was me! Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. Oh man. It's breakfast time. Oh sh sh Is it? It's already morning? Single beds? No, that's not alright. We've been together for nearly 10 years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. I feel you. Sleep, yeah. Just do it very old maybe there's something by her bed this is all wrong I've always slept on my left side oh no chat So. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? The fuck is this? Oh, Mr. Davis, such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Hmm. What the fuck Ooh. is this? <laughs> it's just a dining room. A dining Breakfast room? Service, as usual. You know, all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. What? Oh, I have no. a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. Where the fuck is my wife? This guy is angry. Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? 
Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere, but I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? This is bizarre. Who is that, Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. Hmm. She's even half as mad as you. My wife's not safe with that, Sophie. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. You're just a hotel manager, but all right. I don't care about breakfast. I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Ooh, maybe my wife has a crush on this Sophie. Uh-oh. I can't! You little bastard. Don't you dare! She's gonna steal. Yep, the cat's gonna steal the goddamn key. Love it. Whoa! We're in some different areas now. literally chasing this cat all around the freaking hotel get back here you little shit mm, nothing else here yeah this room is different oh that mirror Makes me feel like I'm being watched. Cat a jammies. Oh, oh, oh. Where did the stupid cat go? Probably over here. Ah, yes. Look at all these doors. Which way now? Oh no. Help! Whoa! What was that in the mirrors? Huh. This is the one. Whoa! Game gets really dark from time to time. Are we in the TV? Fine, I'll enter. Oh, it's. I was gonna say, I thought it was the place from the cat lady for a second. I. I don't think Joe's, uh. Doing too great himself, guys. 
Home sweet home. I mean, he always, he always makes it out like Ivy's the problem. I, I don't know, my dude. I, I feel like you, uh, I feel like you, uh, definitely contribute to some of these issues. This is the same place as before. This is where we live. Brick wall still there. Yeah. This is, uh, I, I feel like one of the reasons I really enjoyed this one, uh, a lot is because... Oh, what? Is the cat? Get back here, you little pooper! It's like when Tofu steals something from me. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. The, I feel like what Joe is experiencing is, you know, dissociation. Like, he's hallucinating. Like, worlds seem seamlessly blend into one another. I don't know. I, I just, I love how, how psychological this one is in particular. Because the, the last one, Cat Lady, deals more with suicide, depression, and those emotions. And this one does as well, but there's like a different angle to it. It's a bit more just surrealistic and disturbing, I feel. Come back here, little sheet. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Yeah. Use the cat clock. Put it in there. What are cats like? There's gotta be, um, some catnip or something around here, maybe. Oh, what happened? I guess that worked. <gasps> Did he burn the cat? Oh my god, no! You didn't have to do that, you piece of shit. Ouch, it's too hot. Why would he kill the cat? Oh wait, the magnet! Let's try this. That's smart. I've got it. Sick. Boy. Uh -huh. Huh? Yo, what's up, Snake? Back in what? the dining room. Yeah, like I. Judging from what we saw in the cat lady, this guy has his own demons and struggles. I, I wouldn't say he's a bad person. Oh my lord! Through here. We came through here. Yeah, I like the stylized art as well with, um... Well, not everything is in black and white, but... You know, these areas are, and then suddenly, like, any blood or anything red is highlighted, so... It retains the color. Ooh. I always feel like somebody's watching me! <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, we don't remember what he's done. Like, from the sounds of it, he has definitely contributed to making matters worse, but I also think maybe it's her mental health struggles that cause her to, you know... Make, make matters a lot more difficult. Whoa! Remember this room from, uh, Cat Lady? This woman just looking into mirrors. Why is she wearing a mask? Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. <gasps> is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? Oh, it's a sleepy demon child. That's why we can't get rid of her now that we woke her up. God damn it. What is this place? Why all the mirrors? 
Is the madness, Joe. The madness! Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. If you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. I don't know where you are, Joe. But I am home. Ooh. Why did you break all these mirrors? Let's just say you're lovely wife can put up quite a fight oh but it was not enough there's something wrong going on here and you will tell me what it is oh there's plenty wrong here joe i don't know where to start and i'm not sure if you're ready for it yet where's my wife that's not unsettling she's still around here somewhere but hidden away so you couldn't find her but why why would she have to hide from me she found a monster inside her and no one can ever see even you what the heck did you say a monster oh it's just gas it's fine Don't Tell me you didn't see it. It's been lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. Yeah, and if so. If you start listening, it grows stronger. Basically, her, her eating disorder. Then then there is no going back. Oh, shit. You fall and keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. Well, he doesn't have anorexia, so that's fine. Okay, I'll do it. Sure. Okay, I'll do it. Let's take a look. Which one? Any. Sounds good to me! It's uh, cracked just like other mirrors here. Oh, she. What are we gonna see, chat? I mean, he, he did have dreams about it. He. about him. like himself being a murderer, so. Because he chops himself up, so maybe. Looking into the mirrors makes you see your inner demons or something like that. 666 the number of the beast posh demons the poshest <gasps> that is really creepy Saw it for yourself. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. They won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. Oh it's yeah! very... simple. Not really. sus at all. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. That is really eerie. I can't just kill you. Um, I can do this without your help. What do you mean? What do you mean you're a memory? Ooh, that's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics, but not me. 
If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror, the only one that's still not broken. Oh. But how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. AKA Kansas. <laughs> oh. So. It's having a symbolic broken mirrors, broken self esteem, you know. What what she's really saying is there is still a place within Ivy that, that is pure and good and oh if you could reach into that and tap into that place you just might be able to save her. How? How should I kill you? Well we asked that first. Poison me. What what? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. Is she alive it though? Won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. So what did and this girl... that's why I have to die. What did this first? girl do? Like, I, I'm guessing she's basically saying she's the only pure part left of the Sophie person, but what did Sophie do? I'll think about it. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? I didn't want to. I didn't kill the cat. It was that creep with an axe. Ah. <sighs> The sweet denial. He's you lying. Don't understand what happened? I, I didn't mean to burn it. But what else could you have done to get that key? Wait for that poor animal to shit it out. No, we both know the truth, Joe. You are not a patient man. Ooh. You knew from the start that this kitty had to fry. Now be a man and admit it. Right. Curiosity killed the cat, not me. Kill me. Uh -huh. Well, think about it. This is messed up. This is so messed up. It's very simple. Kill full memories. But the others are bad. Yeah, the others are bad. Why would you kill the good? Oh, man. This is so messed up. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. <laughs> oh my god! Interesting. Well, actually... But, never mind. I didn't want to kill it, so, you know. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? I'll... Oh, I know you. Oh, I know you will. Oh my god. Why is she wearing a mask? What is she hiding? Maybe she's not a good memory at all, chat. I can do this without your help. Can you, though? Joe, you never listen. It's time to open your eyes. Right. I'll... Don't... I'm out of here. Bye! And we... So we woke her up. Wait a second. We woke her up. What is the symbolism here? Because the woman said, don't disturb her, because when you wake her up, you'll never be able to get rid of her. So she can't be good. Oh, there's a letter. Letter part one. It's from Ivy. Part of the letter has been torn off. I miss you. You know... We were good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you.
Hmm. But still, she wants to end it, apparently. All right. Mirror. It's very old. Where was that phone? I guess downstairs. Let's go have a look. Oh, there's a, uh, like... Crime scene tape there, chat. But yeah, I love his, uh, I don't know if you guys are noticing, he's totally rocking like a James Sunderland, uh, Jacob Singer jacket. <laughs> Classic. Whoa! Alright, yeah, the, the phone is downstairs. Let's go... the telephone yes they're waiting that is ivy cata jammies oh cata jammies oh the elevator is working now where do we go, Chet? Started from the bottom, now we're here. Let's make our way up. Yeah. Oh, not you again. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Get out of here. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then Nasty. again, it always rains here. None of this is real. And neither are you. Oh, but it is, Joe. I'll prove it to you. No thanks. But I'm giving you my permission. What? Don't be so scared. Come closer and see how very real I am. You Gross. can touch me. I know you want to. Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. Go touch yourself, crazy lady. <laughs> yes. Oh, I will. And you can look, Joe. Oh my god, just stop. Will that be okay with your precious Ivy? I'll ask her when I find her. What? Still searching for her, are we? Well, I'll, go on then. I'll ask I'll her wait. when I find her. Just let me know when you've had enough. I'll be in my office. Uh. Touching myself. Bruh, stop it. She's like a nymphomaniac or something. Where do we even go now, chat? Oh my god, look at that thing on the wall. No, thank you. Enter. It's locked. 207. 207 is by a creepy painting. It's totally not an alien. Go six. I don't know why I'm doing this. Two, four. Cigarette machine. Oh. Vending machines that sells packs of cigarettes. I want my bloody cigarettes. Whoa. Why did I do that? Shake. Nothing. There are 10 pounds. Ooh. Yeah, we totally should. Let's buy 10 pounds worth of cigarettes. Sick. No. No, no. My money! That got stuck. Come out, you damn thing. <laughs> Come out! Oh my god. Eh. Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Dude, another... I'm not gonna freaking waste even more money, you piece of poop. Uh, we could go... Oh! We could go rob someone. What the hell was that? That What was on that painting? Two or three? Locked. Okay, I'm getting confused. <laughs> Mood when my Lucas A got stuck years ago. 
it's such a funny trope. Shit getting stuck in... 10 pounds for a pack of cigs? When is this game set? I know, right? Well, what the heck? Gotta check every door, but as per Silent Hill, everything's broken. Woo! Creepy so far. I like it. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm very curious to hear if you guys are gonna be, like, preferring this or the cat lady. Locked. Private party tonight. Invitations only. It's dark inside. I guess the party hasn't started yet. Painting of a lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. It's Lady D! Wait, is she? Hold on. Probably not. Look closer. Oh my god. It kind of looks a little like Lady D, actually. Um... Painting of a lady wearing a hat. She's got a nasty smile on her face. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. Bathroom door! Woo! The fuck is this bath? A creepy aunt or granny? She slashed her wrist in a bath. What a nasty way to die. Why are we listening to like super upbeat? Not upbeat, but like hype jazz music. Normally, I steer clear of dirty needles, but today's not a normal day. I guess we're taking it. Cooker. Sophie? She must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. Looks half dead already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh God! Where's my wife? You will never find her. Excuse she me. She is mine. Mine. See you about. See about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you piece of poop. Hey, we should get a cat. And what? We'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Oh my god. No, not like this. I'll find another one. Oh, so he can't strangle her. What's a damn cooker doing in the bathroom? Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. It's pretty obvious she's blown her head off with a shotgun. These stiff dead fingers will never loosen their grip on that gun. I, I tried to strangle her body and it says like she was basically talking as if it was his wife. I guess we go to the fourth floor, chat. We still need to find a goddamn tenor. Not bad though. We we have a syringe. We have a syringe. Whoa! Woo! That is scary shit. That that's like nightmare fuel. That happening to an elevator that I'm on. The the thought of free falling scares the crap out of me. I remember one time when I was a kid, a bunch of us got stuck in a lift. Um, and like, uh, someone we were on the lift with was claustrophobic. And it was, it was really, really like, it was really scary. Anxiety and tension tends to spread when you're in an environment like that. And we sat there for hours, like we couldn't, uh, we couldn't get out. Until they came and got us. Like, how do you- how do you not bring more than 10 pounds to a vacation? And, and also, that 10 pounds was gifted to him. Where is this man's money? 
<laughs> yeah, definitely nothing here. Debit card. This man uses credit card only. I don't know who I could call. Call Ghostbusters. What are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. I legit... Oh, uh, kind of semi-stuck here, but we'll figure it out, chat. I guess we just have to go back up to the floor with the cigarettes. That's the only option, right? Because... But, well, maybe the third floor, but... Kitchen. Yeah. Definitely not the fourth floor. I just want to check out the third again because it's it's smaller. It's smaller. It's small, very small. Catajamies. Nothing else here, I guess. Yeah. There's something about that painting, though. We checked out the bath- one of the bodies, the cooker... Nothing happens. The gas supply is probably- Yeah, it turned on. <gasps> we can enter this! Uh-oh! Oh! Oh, we got a lever. We got a chair. And is this an electric chair? There's some cables running from the chair further into the room. Sit in the old Sparky? That's a terrible idea. Fair, fair. Never. Whoa! Dr. X, I presume? Hi. What's up, dude? What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. Oh my god, rude. What's going What's on, on in here? here? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on and I'm not impressed. I like how he, he's supposed to sound German, but he just sounds British. What bad things? What bad things? Don't tell me you didn't notice. Oh, no, no, the everything's totally from fine. The walls, those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're there all right. Watching. Hmm. You're crazy. No, 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 no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man. Jesus, what dude. The... Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. Ugh. Why is he... So it's an autopsy? So, it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. Okay, okay. She... Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. Oh, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is Agnes. Oh, Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. What? Yeah, okay, sure. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Why would someone, first of all, why Most would... Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Mm. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. You're full of shit. You can't save anyone. Can you save 
Me? Can you save me? Yeah. Yes. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Totally Bring legit. Me something totally legit. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? I'm not a dog. Go fetch it yourself. Fine, I'll go. Just don't come begging for help to me. You and I, we are not friends. That's exactly what he's doing, Snake. Kind of like a Frankenstein. But I think it's like a elemental, like a mental Frankenstein. There's a gaping hole in her skull and the brain is missing. Poor girl. What did he say her name was? Agnes? Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as literal, you know. Last bowl. Looks like a terrarium for a spider. Oh my god, spooters! Take it! Yes. You could keep a pet torrentially in it. Not that I ever would. I hate spiders. We go up and then you go down or something. Go up. Oh, it's right there. Basement door is wide open. It's right there. Go inside. Totally fine. Yahoo. Where's the doctor? He came in here for sure. The door is wide open. I can almost smell him. Stinky. And yet, he's nowhere to be seen. How odd. A bottle of castor oil never to be consumed with blueberry pies. Oof. Chef, chef's jacket. Stay in chef's uniform. Early sent down here for cleaning. It's of no use to me, but maybe there's something in the pockets. Search it! There's a key inside. <gasps> I think I know where that key leads. Must be the kitchen door. Whoop! Scary shit. <gasps> you guys see that? Look, look, look. Oh my god. That shadow. Trap door? I couldn't even notice if it, if it wasn't for the light coming through the gap. <gasps> What's up, Viking? Welcome. Whoa! Secret stairs. Skin flap. What the fuck? Why are we doing this? Looks like sketchy good time. That's exactly what it is. It's terrifying. What the hell kind of a trip is this? Yeah, this this game is very, very uh Thanks for doing the dishes, Ives. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. I'm just I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried, you know, this whole can we just forget about it? Yeah, so she has uh, anorexia. I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. I'm playing as her now. Okay. Uh, I played it ages and ages ago, but I don't honestly remember much. Huh? Oh! Anxiety. Cue the anxiety. done this. Won't budge. Ah! You stupid cats. Hey, don't say that. He's just being mischievous. Come here, kitty. What the heck? No, what is that? Uh oh. Pyramid head, is that you? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, look at that tub. 
Am I walking backwards? Don't budge. Whoa! Oh my god! Didn't sign up for this! Woo! Pathetic, ugly bitch. <gasps> Everyone's looking at you. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. Let me out! Please, just let me out! There is only one way out. And you know it. Because you've been there many times before. No, I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. So I have a theory. I think that, uh, you guys remember in the Cat Lady, there was this other entity, uh, called the Crow. I think that's him. And obviously he would work close with that woman who, well, she was called the Queen of Maggots, but I think she's basically supposed to be kind of like the embodiment of Persephone. Um, cause she, like she has a lot of similarities to her anyway. She's kind of death, but not really. Uh, she stands for like depression. Like a lot of the Greek gods actually did, uh, you know, depression and, and hatred and self-loathing and all those negative emotions that we carry. So maybe this is like him. He's kind of like her, like another side of her. Um, uh, but yeah, I think this is the same entity. Examine, crawl in. Oh my god, the symbolism! We need to crawl through the toilet. The only way out. As in, like, the only way out is to make yourself thinner again. You guys get the implication. I don't need to get into this. Ew. Wee. Move brain. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. We're delivering a brain? I was not told of this. Yeah, usable. Use. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. I, I think it's uh, I think it's her eating disorder personified. It, it might be something like gluttony, uh, but it's not it's not encouraging. All these bottles, are they? <gasps> Poison. Oh my god. Ooh, hello. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? Oh, I remember this. So we can take rid of yeah. Ooh. The red one is totally fine. <laughs> red makes me think of blood, danger, and fire. I wonder if these are like mixed up or something. Blue color of the sky, water, and no, her eyes were never blue. They were green. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? I... I feel like... There's a trick here. Like, I actually think maybe it's the blue one that's actually the poison, but... Uh, do we want to really kill her? Because I think she's trying to manipulate us. I'm pretty sure. Film syringe. Let's go blue. Well, here goes nothing. Let's go blue. This is totally the, the actual poison. It's time for your medicine, girl. Hey, not to say that. Wow, wow. Wow. What the hell? 
I switched it on. Okay, there we go. The gas is on for the stove upstairs. What is this nine inch nail shit? Let us go murder a demon. Poison her, possibly. Yes, turn that up. Wait. I can't turn it on? Oh well. Poison dubstep. <laughs> Poison dubstep. Drop the beat. Sure. This syringe? Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But will it hurt? Oh my god, I actually think... I actually think... No, I, I think I misremembered, so I think both of them will kill her, but I think one of them will be, like, way worse. And I think it might be the blue one. I guess we'll see, chat. No, you won't feel a thing. I don't really know. What does it matter? What does it matter? Yeah, yeah. You'll be dead soon. You enough. care? You heartless son of a... Oh! But really, that's okay. I get it. You will never understand others. You never did. Will you at least help me do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Why not? Please. I'm begging oh. you. Oh. <laughs> um. You can still redeem yourself, Joe. I don't know about this. Sure, I guess. She's asking for it, but... Oh, fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. Give me your arm. That's the spirit. I think last time I let her do it herself. Uh-oh. Oh! 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 <laughs> What the hell kind of a poison does that? Oops. That's one crack. So basically we need to get the mirror to break to get to like the... Where our wife supposedly is. What the hell? Examine. Body's gone. I knew she wasn't real. But what is this dress still doing here? Take it. Take the dress. Too carbonated. A little gassy. All right. Uh, we actually need to go downstairs to the kitchen, I just remembered. So we got the kitchen key now. We can grab some ice! <laughs> blender? That's one big blender. I think we're gonna use that in a sec. Oh god, I think I know where this is going. Cooking pot? It's empty. Turn on the hop. Pig? Rotten pig, nice. The pig has been dead for a long time. Can take the ice pick at least. That'll help us dig out the brain, right? And... One of the few freezers in here that isn't completely frozen shut. Ah, uh, yeah! Okay, guys. Need... Yeah. Oh, right. Ice pick. Ice pick. Sick, boy! Break the ice. We got that. Oh, my. Another pig. I think it's dead or just sleeping. Wait, what? I don't think it's sleeping, buddy. Talk to! I know you're just a pig, but... I want to tell you this. Uh, what do we tell the pig? Shit. I screwed up, man. I screwed up, man. I screwed up. Can we spawn places? What? 
He just wanted to bond with the pig. Fill the bowl with ice. Sick boy, let's go get the brain. So far, so good, chat. Yeah, it sounds like we can hear like ball music from upstairs, right? That is really eerie. Grab ourselves a brain. Okay. Come on, buddy. Remember, we don't even we're know why the hell we're doing walk. this. <laughs> I should probably go back upstairs. Yeah, I should go upstairs and talk to somebody. So there's a big gaping hole where his brain once was. Sounds like uh, a lot of people I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just go. I just want to go to the third floor because I feel like uh, we need some more context for this. Turn this on. Gas is on. Gas is slowly filling the room. Probably go. It's not safe here. Why is there a gas oven in the bathroom? I mean, it's it's surreal. It's surrealistic. Bizarre imagery that he sees because he's not right in the head. Think of it as like very Silent Hill 2 esque. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what the hell happened. There was something with the body in the basement. Is it telling me that I should go down? We got ourselves a nice juicy brain. Brain. Creepy. Very Resident Evil-esque. There's a big gaping hole. Clearly he wants it back. But maybe I can find another brain. Oh, we need another brain, chat. Gas supply. Hole. Oh. I've switched it on. I have to turn it on again? Bring it back. Maybe the pig's brain, right? But can we cut it open? You know, that shadow is dancing up a storm. May I have this dance? Human brain, castor oil. Let's fry the brain. Is this what the crazy doctor wanted from the cellar? Oh, do I have to put it back for now maybe and then go do the gas thing? Oh, I didn't even consider that. No, he doesn't want that, but he wants something better. You know, I've I've had that I've had that thought many times. Like, oh, I wish I had a better brain. Uh, you know, one that wasn't riddled with uh, anxiety. And uh, so I suppose maybe that might be part of the symbolism here. Wait, she needs a brain. There you go. Perfect. For all I know, he might never come back. I'll show a little initiative. Though I must be crazy to do this. Ugh. Ugh. You just get in there. This is totally how uh how silence how science oh, works. Damn it! I guess I won't be using the bowl again. Oops. Wait, which way does it actually go? Oh my god! <laughs> this looks about right. Ah, yeah, looks fine. Sure. Reanimate! Great idea, but how do I do that? <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Um... The brain is in place, or so it seems, but it didn't make her magically come alive. What did I expect? I must be missing something. Dude, this guy is wild. Tempting. Pull it. Oh! Maybe that was enough to reanimate her. Frankenstein's bride. Of course. Why did I even think? 
You can't bring back what's dead. Okay, let's have another Hello? look. Hello? Oh! She's alive! Where? What is... Hello? Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank Says you, and the I'm totally... so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until huh? you get me something to wear. This guy's clueless! Bring me some clothes. I don't want to sit here all day. All right, we got just the thing. Wait, where? Can I wear the dress? No, thanks. Oh my god. Uh, it's... All right, sick. I got this. You were that. Why is, he's just watching. Her? Put this on. Turn around. Ooh, it's so pretty. I love this dress. It's actually really? a wedding dress. It's actually the same, um, the same dress that we find in the basement in the cat lady, if you guys remember. I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. Yeah. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress. And good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? <laughs> You're moaning. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. La 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 la. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? Um, yes. Yep. I shall avenge her. <laughs> Mercilessly. <laughs> Yay, there she is. How do I look? I'm disappointed. I'll go reanimate somebody else now. Hey. Well, tough luck, Mr. Fussy. I'm sure you'll find lots of pretty dead girls just lying around waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> but for now, you're kind of stuck with me, I'm afraid. Is that all right? Is it that much of an inconvenience? You might not have the looks, but at least you've got the brains. Oh my and God! You no, know? I put it inside your head with my own hands. Don't be disgusting. I did. Whatever. Fine. You want to know how you look? Yes, but no sugar coating. You look. Now I'll you say really this. Remind me of somebody I used to know. Was it a really hot, totally out of your league supermodel friend? Huh? Just kidding. Wouldn't want you to think I'm some big headed, looks obsessed, and really shallow, deep inside person. Huh? To think about it, I'm probably somewhere in between. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, you'll have to try a bit harder. I want an honest opinion. How do I look? Ah! Uh, pushy. Oh, come on. I gotta say that. Like a zombie in a wedding dress? You know. A bride of Frankenstein? Okay. First of all, I'm nobody's bride, okay? And secondly, watch who you're calling a zombie. Because I ain't no freaking zombie, all right? Are you a zombie? Would you like me to call you a zombie? Yes, actually. Hi. Well, it's too late now. Don't bother with apologies. But let's start again. How do I look? Oh my god! Like a gypsy princess. What? I mean, it's kind of puffy at the bottom. How dare you? I do not have a puffy bottom. Hi. No, no, no. I think we need to get back to this part. How do I look? Oh my god. Should we say, yeah, you were right. You look awful. You were right. You look awful. Shut up. I don't. Oh my god. Do I? Afraid so. Yeah, 
Well, it's your freaking fault for bringing me this god-awful white dress. <sighs> I don't know you, dude, but I'm hating you already. I was only joking. Still hating you. Obviously, you don't look awful. Don't care. Hating. Okay, let's start again. Ask me how you look. Huh? Just ask me. Fine. <sighs> how do I look? Uh, different than expected. Let's different try that. I'm trying to like yeah. dodge. And what exactly did you expect? I don't know. Some sexy blonde bimbo with breasts the size of grapefruits. I, I mean watermelons. <laughs> not at all. You're wrong. I'm not like that. No, you're wrong. What? Not all grapefruits grow to be the size of cannonballs. <sighs> Let's just rewind for a second. How do I look? Beautiful. There. Oh. That's exactly what she Thanks. wanted. That's like the only thing you could see. I kind of do, don't I? I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky. When you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Do you at least remember your name? Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Martha, Dorothy, Gladys, or Priscilla. His name is Agnes. I wonder if we could, like, could we mess with her? Should we just tell her? It was something retro. Gladys. Gladys or Phyllis? I so no, like a granny. Phyllis. Oh, dear God. I can't believe you just said that. So, Martha. I was right? No. You were not right. In fact, if you had called me Gladys, I'd never speak another word to you again. <laughs> What's wrong with Gladys? What's wrong with Gladys? No, we know her name. Everything. Her, her name is Agnes. I have a lot going on. Can you just tell me? <sighs> it's Agnes. I knew I was close. Do you want a punch? No. Sorry. Well, it's nice to meet you, Agnes. I could have said that. <laughs> How did you die? I can't remember or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. <laughs> what are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. Oh, Sweet yay. Creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I'm not your Mary. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. And what if I run the big bad wolf? And what if I am the yeah. big bad wolf? Then I guess you'll find that I'm the kind of girl who builds her houses out of bricks. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh... So you are Joe Davis. Huh? Of course. Now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I came alive. No clothes. None of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So, huh. I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it, but since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. In the oh. booba! Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The <laughs> note. I'll get the note out. Oh my god. Fine. Oh, not that way. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? 
Bump a dump a dump I'm playing clueless here. Holy shit. I like that response. Very witty. Yeah. Oh! Wait, isn't this that asshole from, um... Isn't this that asshole that, that kidnaps, uh, Susan? Run! Agnes? We've got a problem. Run! Run! I like how he politely waits. Dude, run away! Don't let him freaking kill you again. Yeah, back off. Mm, what do I do? Uh, body, throw something at him. Yes. this is supposed to happen uh, we might have been continuous joe continuous agnes what uh, oh yeah i remember this who shall we continue as i i actually don't think i last time i continued as agnes and i don't know um what happens if you continue as joe like i'm kind of curious agnes fine maybe we get to do both anyway Ooh. And now I'm waking up. Oh. I'm fine. I really don't know what to say. Nah, I don't even know whose room it is. My store, I guess. Yeah, nice door. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Lovely weather. Poor Mr. Moose. I'll find a bastard that chopped your head off, and I shall avenge you. Blanket? Looks warm. I'm locked in? Who is it? The door's locked and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah? I'm calling the police! Hit him with a blanket! Oh god. Go away! Okay. Don't panic, Agnes. We need to... We need to get out of here. Fast. It's a little too high to jump. Well, there we go. We could just grab the blanket. Wait, radio? What's going on with that radio? It's an oldie, but still better than nothing, I guess. Blanket and bed throw. <laughs> with all that banging on the door, I don't think so. Very strange, use it. No? She doesn't want to use either. I remember there was like something about about this moose head. Hmm. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm silly. I know why we can't do anything. Yeah. So we need to need to do this. We need to start with the We need to start with this. Right. Please excuse 
Excuse me, Mr. Moose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Oh, yeah, that's totally gonna hold. And then I think we do the blanket and then we can climb out. No. I'm gonna use this to climb out of the... Perhaps I should first open the window. Oh, of course! Of course! I, I, I closed it earlier. Do this. Whee! And there we go. Time to go! Oh, that is actually the axe person. Holy shit. But there is a twist. Okay. We're outside the hotel. Here's Johnny! Fight Haven Hotel. What was I doing here? Lock, but that's okay. I don't intend to go back to this again. What about Joe? It's raining. Very ambianced. There's like a graveyard here. I could probably climb over it if it was if I wasn't wearing the stupid wedding dress. Yeah, locked, of course. Someone parked in the middle of the lawn. Not cool, dude. This car could be my ticket out of here. The only problem is I can't drive. That is quite a problem. Whoop. Whoops. The key's in the ignition. Take it. Um Maybe. Yeah. Something heavy on the gas pedal. Use it to break the Probably gate. Break through the fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Genius. So smart. Well, at least it sounds like nothing bad has happened to anyone Friday the 13th yet. Oh, chat. There's still plenty of time. <laughs> Push. Eh. Take. <laughs> Chat. Come on. We've got to do this. You got to take the statues. What if it's not going to be heavy enough? All right, we'll try. Try. Take the penis. Oh, God. Second thought, I should have probably taken the leg. Hey! <laughs> Alright, penis, you better do it. Oh, man. car went the wrong way. Feels bad, man. I mean, what was she expecting? It's not like... Ugh, whatever. Hopefully, the rain will put out the fire. Let's hope. Creepy forest. This is scary. This game's atmosphere is absolutely incredible, yo. That's one of the reasons I really love these Harvester games. Atmosphere, music, story, top notch. She doesn't know how to drive. She did say that earlier. I don't know how to drive. You gonna judge me, chat? Hmm? Whoa! Oh god. Corridor. Uh, corridor. Shit. like a bit of a maze, I think, if I remember correctly. 
I was just I was just memeing. Wall. Someone painted a door frame on this wall. If only it was real. Oh, uh, this is very Frambo-esque. You, uh, you, you can make the door real. Shit, I have to find my way back though. So... Sad looking doll. Who left it here? Hard to imagine a child would play in a place like this. I, uh... Okay, now what? Let's examine it. So skinny. What a terrible role model for little girls. She kind of looks like a brush with that, with that mane of thick hair. I like this Agnes person. She's like really... I love her attitude to everything, basically. Even dark topics. I like her. She's, she's kind. She's caring. Pumpkins? What a waste. Smash the pumpkins! Smashing pumpkins. Why would you do that? You can't even do anything with it. Red goo is oozing out of the smashed pumpkins. Look. Oh, I have an idea. If we coat the doll in pumpkin blood, the red stuff, red stuff is just big. We need to find our way back to the door, guys. You remember the door? I hear heart. You guys hear heart? There it is. I guess I could paint something here, but I don't really know what. Girl! A door! It's like one of these weird in-between hallways. Oh! Hello! Why is she sitting alone in an empty room? She might be mad. Hello? What is this place? Why would it matter? It is what it is. A pile of rotten Doo -doo. shit. Ah! My cat attacked me. Sorry, chat. Didn't mean to scream. A pile of rotten doo-doo. Well, it looks like a big toilet. Uh, that's exactly what I thought. And this is exactly why we should leave. That's exactly what I thought. And that's exactly why we should leave. It's too late for that. What? Why? It's complicated. I don't really want to talk about it. I'd rather be alone if you don't mind. Really? In a place like this? It's none of your business. Who are you? I'm Ivy. Okay. Hi, Ivy. I'm Agnes. I'm terrible with names. So, I probably won't remember it anyway. Just say what you want and leave me be. I'm not looking for company. I promise I won't take much of your time. Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But it's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. Who do you think she is? She. Mm. It's Queen of Maggots, obviously. Yes, this is exactly what I want to say. Sounds like a right bitch. Sounds like a right bitch. Mm -hmm. Still, no matter how bad she is, I'm sure she's at least not planning to decapitate us. Like the... Like the other guy. You don't know her. She is the monster that keeps me here. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. She's a god and the devil. A trickster. A demon. Great. Great. Why don't you just make some room for me on that chair? And we'll wait together for our imminent death, shall we? I don't need your bitter irony. I knew you wouldn't understand. Go away. But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. 
it leads right through her house. But maybe, maybe you can make it. I will make it, but you're coming with me. You can't help me. There's no way I'm leaving this room. This place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no. Yeah, so for anyone who's like come in and doesn't really know, um, this is Joe's wife and she has a eating disorder. I'm pretty sure it's anorexia. And I think this is why she wears this sort of oversized sweater because people who have an eating disorder and have to spend time around other people and they don't want them to notice that they're like struggling um they tend to put on like layers of clothes that that can also be one thing but it can also be because they often get cold obviously from not eating as much get your ass off this chair right now and follow me but no buts you'll be fine i will protect you come on Oh, this is a bad idea, chat. Wait. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. Yeah, I saw it. You need to make one. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Okay. Cool. I'll deal with that. You just follow me, yeah? God, I love it's the- time to bust out of here. I, I love this part of the game. I, I love the whole- Oh, God, just I love everything about this. Just how the story is developing, the music, the, uh, the tension that's building up. So I'm trying to remember which way to the door. Oh God. Careful now. I think the man that follows me went through here earlier. If I'd only memorized. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh fuck. Hold on a sec, chat. Where's the fucking door? Oh, uh. we're here. <gasps> That's the door I was telling you about. I'll pretend I believe you for now, no matter how crazy this sounds. Wait a second. <gasps> Last time I did this, I got caught. And we have a perfect door handle. Yeah, yeah, go through. Now, how do we use it? Just open it. Push it. is never going to work and it does work <gasps> yeah and remember it's not like they just picked music like they actually created this music what no. the fuck was that she locked me in i'm so sorry is she dude why are you sorry to her she locked you in what is that their lips lips on the walls Mwah! Damn, someone's been using lip fillers. Holy shit, Kylie Jenner. Oh, is this Kylie Jenner's realm? <gasps> is Kylie Jenner the demon? Yeah, oh shit, she speaks. Who? Who are you? I have so many names. It's hard to pick them. But the only thing that truly matters is who you think I am. Hmm, a demon, a hallucination, a bad dream. Are you the devil? Must be the bitch that poor girl was talking about. An unlucky victim of... <laughs> Hold on, I gotta say that. I couldn't... Oh no! I gotta say this, I'm sorry, chat. So, this woman is basically supposed to be like, all things that are bad, the manifestation of anxiety and depression and all, like, essentially all bad things that can go wrong in your head. But she is actually also a deity, but I'm sorry, I gotta say this. An unlucky victim of lip augmentation gone wrong. Hey! <laughs> Whoop! There it goes. Yeah. 
And here we are, chat. Come closer. You recognize this voice? Oh, it goes great. Loving I'm it. I'm not as scary as the paint me. Please, be my guest. Have some soup. Hey, I want soup. Don't mind if I Don't do. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, sure. Let's have some disgusting blood okay. soup. Okay. This soup is... <sighs> Oh, the hair. Oh, it's just tomato soup, actually. It's tomato. <laughs> <laughs> it's not liar, actually. I'm not hungry after all. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No offense, but I think I'll pass. That's absolutely fine, my dear. Oh. But I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit of it. Oh, he would. <laughs> Why is that? Is he a vampire? <laughs> oh my god. The worst kind. Oh. Wow. Parasite. Oh, he's a parasite. He's a toxic person. You know Joe? No, he wouldn't. And you're crazy. You know Joe? Oh, I know him well. He's uh, a friend of a friend. Oh, the cat he lady. He came by not long ago. Mm hmm Did you give him your soup? He only tasted it. But he's already building up quite an appetite for it. I can tell. Oh, it's a metaphor. So it's, it's, probably, it's probably something tells me it's actually not tomato soup. It was nice chatting about the soup, but I think I'll go now. It was nice chatting about soup, but I think I'll go now. So early? What about the main course? It's been waiting in the oven for a while now. Might have died, actually. Some other time. Oh, just no, no, no. I'm on a strict diet, actually. Goodbye. <laughs> Lord board. Have you lost something, dear? I was just... Don't. Oh my god, the painting's on the wall. Oh, she's... Have so... you lost something, dear? I... Don't. She's grumpy. All food looks just awful. Why would anyone want to even touch this stuff? Toxic. Take four. Have you changed your mind about the soup? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. I just wanted to borrow the spork for a minute. If you're not going to eat, leave the cutlery for the next guest. That's Please. fine. You have plenty. One more thing. Yes? Yeah? Would you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? Oh, she's Why? trying... No! Why? It's just a little tradition in my house. I ask all my guests to do that. Toxic. Okay. I'll think about it. Why is this girl... In, in essentially in death's house painting what a monstrosity <laughs> oh yeah look at that painting chad i think he's beautiful i think he's our next emote it looks like his nose is a penis or a banana peel or something flowers withered roses they've been dead for a long time girl same do the eyes move? They are! The eyes are moving! Look! Whoa! He's looking at you, chat. Oh, painting. What a lonely seashore. That's the same painting that uh, Susan saw. There's something different about this coffin. Open. It's nailed shut. I think I know where this is going, chat. However, so basically, I think if you put out the candles, it's like you're blowing out someone's life essence. You're snuffing out someone's life. So let's not... So many candles in a room full of wood. Oh! Oh! Not safe. Someone called the fire safety department. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, she's gone. This is good. So let's take the fork. And can we pry open the floorboards with a fork? Sick! Crowbar. How lovely. 
And here's me messing up a perfectly good fork. Let's pry this bitch right, open. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, I never blew out a candle. I, I wonder what that changes exactly. Cats love food. Yes, they do. Chill. Ah, Nirvana. Do you think... Do you think I'm pretty? You're more like a hideous, slimy creature from the swamp. Take this shirt off and we'll have a good look. Oh my god, Joe with the spooth moves! Oh! I'm just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. And I feel... I don't know. Wait a second. You're still just as beautiful second. as you Oh, I see. Oh, of course you would say that now. It means the second time he saw her. No. I know you. You're just saying that. Because you're hoping to get laid again. That's all. Saying it because I love you. Oh shit, you can see right through me. I'm not hoping to get laid. Oh! I'm hoping to make love to you. Sick. Wow. What a gentleman you are. I'm shocked. But you're gonna have to wait, sir. I'm afraid. Wait for you what? Know? I wish I could just not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. Try oh, no. Me. Oh, you can choose to be toxic. I feel like such an idiot. I hate myself for it. But it's there all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back, and I do it again, and again. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy, you can really play him as a douche here. You can talk to me about it. Oh, it would be more entertaining, but... I uh... can't, really. It doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do, and I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will... You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. Just say what Try to be a supportive boyfriend, okay? okay? I've been making myself sick. What? And I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but it's so easy. <laughs> Just stick fingers down my throat Ugh. so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. Except you don't. But why? Because it because never I'm stops. A woman. I want to be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Please. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. Oh my god. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. Oh no. She is, I'd say she's skinnier than average. But that's the thing with eating disorders. You don't see that because you have body dysmorphia. And body dysmorphia, you could literally look like the most incredible person ever. You just always see something wrong with yourself. It's... It's real. It's a real topic. Just like um, how the cat lady touched on depression last one. This this also touches on a very real topic that I think a lot of people might be able to relate to, myself included. I've worked. I told you guys I used to be a therapist. Um, I've also worked with girls with eating disorders and it is rough. It is... Oh, it's one of the most brutal addictions you can shake. Like just overcoming these urges. And again, it doesn't matter how many times you do it because it's just a very temporary solution that in the end will harm you. Promise me you'll never do it again. That's why I've told you. See, that's why we need a new brain. <laughs> I'll help you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. 
We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? I am. But I'm glad you've told me. So am I. Hey, we should get a cat. We should totally get a cat. Yes, get it! I thought you hated cats. No, I love cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat, why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black <laughs> as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. Bald as fuck. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. <laughs> what will we name him? Tofu! Okay. Hmm. Mr. Fluffy. I think they said his name is actually Lucifer. Lucifer. Yeah, Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes. That's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know Chungus! I, mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Oh yeah, Susan! Awesome. Joe? Susan yeah. might have a cat. I love you. Oh, How sweet. Yeah, I love- I love black cats as well. Ooh! No. This is not fucking happening. Oh, he's in the chest. It's a coffin. I'm buried alive in a goddamn coffin. That's what you get, you bastard. Ugh. Scream. Help. 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 Ouch. Let me out. Talk to the dead. Who are you? How do you know my name? How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots that look like people. Oh, but she. You mustn't trust them because they're maggots. All they want is to feed. All that maggots want is to eat your fucking <gasps> brain, Joe. <Woo> <laughs> nice. Funny fellas, them maggots. Where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the void. Some call it the grave. Some call it six feet under. Some call it the tomb. As in but Tomb Raider. Like to call it. Wait for it, Joe. The paradise. Of the rotten. Yes! Flesh. <laughs> nice voice acting. Love it. Um. Who are you? It's been so long. I've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter. When you're dead, all there is left is watching. And waiting. Watching. And waiting watching and waiting that is so creepy am i dead no death comes slowly it's a process you see hi nico all in the right time you have to extinguish all hope that's left so start scratching keep fighting it we all did Shut up. Just shut up. But Joe, we're not even here. <laughs> I'm not gonna die like this. There's gotta be a way. Oh, but there is. Oh, but there Look is. around you. Closely. It seems that someone's left a little gift for our good friend Joe. Lucky him. Always led a charmed life, this one. So there's like four of them? 
examine push scream talk to the dead search the coffin wait they're not real it's pointless claustrophobia i know this would be like a, a claustrophobic person's night worst nightmare imagine just dying from you know literal fear very well what it is Joe. you know what it is the only way out of here the only escape the question is are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? Will you do what you've got to do? Do you have the cojones? One pull of a trigger and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. Oof. <laughs> Toxic. Nah. Let's wait. See? Be fine. Imagine if I'd shot myself. It's you! What were you even doing in there? I really believed that had been buried six feet underground. If that was the case, I guess I... I would have found a shovel and dug you out. How did you... How did you find me? I guess it was destiny. Where are we? Yeah, not a nice place. We should probably start looking for a way out. Yeah, follow me. And thanks. I don't remember. I swear the last time I played, he shot himself. Um, But I think maybe like she saves you anyway, because... Ivy's always liked the beach. She spent hours just picking up the seashells or throwing pebbles in the water. Hey, Joe. Why am I here? I mean, what is my purpose in all this? The doctor said you were important, but he didn't really explain why. Important? I like the sound of that. Bear in mind that the doctor seemed crazy as a loon. Now, don't be jealous, Joe. Just because I'm more important than you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But can we please go now? I don't want to see another coffin for the rest of my life. Sick boy, let's go. What a monstrosity. Oh, he's still following us. Candles, examine, blow out. Fuck it, Joe, blow it out. Do it. What's gonna happen? Oh no, it's a construction worker. He's gonna die. Oh no, Joe, you bastard. Yeah, Joe. Don't be jealous. Oh god, the poor man! I like how I just avoided it as Agnes and now as Joe is like, yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna blow out a candle. Here we are. This can't be. We're back. We're back in Quiet Haven. Sure looks like it. Maybe this would be a good time to explain what's going on. What? What the Holy hell? Of... Oh, it's just the door. Okay. I was like, what the fuck is that? Let's start from the very beginning. Yay, story time! It's not really the kind of story you'd like to hear. I story time, chat! Much. Story time! Well, let's hear it anyway. Let's hear it! Oh, I have to tell it. My wife Ivy has this illness. It's kind of weird. She goes on these diets that go on forever, and then... Then she pretends she's okay, but she's still hiding. But I'm not blind. I could see quite well what went on. 
And I was worried as hell. I wanted. I needed to help her. So I arranged a little romantic getaway. A weekend in a nice country hotel. This place. I just realized this place is upside down. No, it's not even upside down. It's like just completely messed up. Like the doors are like halfway 90 degree angle across. What the hell? But I messed up again. I should have been a better husband. But instead, I think we actually broke up. You think? She was acting strange from the start. At first, she wouldn't even talk to me. And then when she finally did, we were pretty horrible to each other. Both said a lot of things we didn't mean. And the next day she was gone. Gone home? No. Taken away. Kidnapped. Hmm. I know this sounds absolutely fucking crazy, but... It's something that lives in the mirrors. Have you seen it? Sort of. Ooh. It's hidden away for now. Where? Inside the mirror. I'm not sure. It's really confusing. Well, how do we get there? This is the worst part. I have to kill four memories of this monster to open the mirror. What? They're ghosts. Memories. Is anything here real anyway? This is all just a bad dream, and I'm not going to think twice about it when it comes to saving Ivy. But you can't. Dream or not, I can't believe you would do such a thing. What choice do I have? I can't leave Ivy to die. But you can't just murder somebody. It's Unless fine, they're demons. You already did. Oh. <gasps> I did, though. You weren't there. I'm starting to think I was wrong about you. Maybe you're not a good guy after all. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Ivy's inside the mirror? Yes. You'll change your mind when you see them. The first one practically begged me to kill her. Yeah. Still not a fan of this venture, I'm afraid. But I'll hold my judgment for now. Okay. Anything else I need to know about? Do we need to blow up an atomic bomb at some point? Are we opening an interdimensional portal for the man-eating beast to plunder the Earth? Yes. The hotel manageress likes me a little too much. It's totally beyond me how any woman could like a guy like you. There's nothing wrong with me. Do you like her too? No, she's crazy. That explains it. Anything else? No, that's pretty much all, except... Didn't you have something for me? What? Just before we got attacked by the Axe Man. You said you had a message. A note or something? Ah, yes. Completely forgot about it. Here, take it. Okay. Lead the way, dude. Let's go save your wife. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. Why didn't she why didn't she tell him she already met her? Mr. Oil. Oh, an invitation card. It's a signed invitation to the party, apparently taking place in function room A of Quiet Haven Hotel. It's got Joe Davis written on it. Oh, plus one written on it. I can bring a plus one. Woo! Locked. 666 door. There's nothing good back there. The manager seems to be the only staff member here. 
And to think the taxidermy used to be my hobby. All right, chat. Let's move on. We got this, chat. We got this. Sick moves, dude. Corridor. Oh, I still need a tenner, by the way. I need ten pounds. It's blocking access to the lift. Maybe Agnes can help me push it out of the way. I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Give me a hand, Agnes. <gasps> oh, guys! Hey, I know this one. Yeah! It's, uh... It's Coldplay, right? <laughs> yes! No. It's not Coldplay. But I'm sure I've heard it before. Keep playing. I've almost got it. It's the cat lady. Oh, you're pretty good, Joe. Nah, I haven't played in years. Anyway, that's enough. We don't want to spend all day fooling around. She is waifu material. You should just wife her up, Joe. There you go. Oh, this- you could actually go in here. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought it was locked for sure. Hello? Oh! All main characters can play the piano, except Chris. <laughs> oh, this is nice. How has he not brought up the fact that his brother was blown up by a grenade? Like, surely that's cause for some serious trauma, my dude. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to say earlier. It's not like this guy is a completely clean slate himself. He's been through a lot no himself. Way. Do you know what this is? Yes. It's a house, Joe. Not just any house, you smartass. My wife and me used to dream that one day we'd get a place outside the city. We planned every detail. A two-story white house with red flowers at the front. She always liked red flowers. And I would drive a red Cadillac. My dad had one back in the States. Like that thing over there by the shed? Isn't this the cannibal people's house? You know the titty nurse and her husband? Is this where titty nurse lived? Yes. Exactly like this. God damn it. Why did we fuck it all up? Oh. Titty nurse. Oh, titty nurse. Oh, well, we killed titty nurse, so hopefully this is before their cannibal days. It might not be their house, but I think it is. Front door. Enter. Oh, it is their house. Look, I was right. Phone. Ouch. Even if it was working, I wouldn't know who to call. Kitchen. The heart of so many happy memories that never happened. Oh, come on, dude. And I love how this... What the fuck? That was terrifying! Look, listen, listen. Oh, why is... Ugh, I don't know why that creeped me out. Sorry. Let's open. Damn it. When did food become such a problem in our life? I know, right? I feel that. It's, I'm not really hungry. It's empty. It's full of weed. Wait, what? Hey, what's that? This? That's... Mm, cooking herbs. That's a lot of herbs. What are they for? Cookies, mostly. Drugs! I'll take some with me, actually. You never know when you might need some. 
are we done in here? We got the herbs. Bin, fridge. Let me just check the bin one more time. Yeah, it's empty. Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. The stairs seem to end suddenly. Like, there's nothing at all up there. Oh, yeah. It's like a creepy void. Whoa, it's Sophie. Who's that? It's like she's a titty nurse. Is this the last incarnation of Sophie? There's almost nothing human about her. I doubt I'd get a reply. Besides, I don't really want to talk to her. I want to kill her. But how? What the heck? This is so creepy. Yeah, so the first incarnation... I think I'm starting to understand what Sophie is. The first incarnation was the child, so we killed her childhood. And I guess the last one is like the, the most... I guess demonic, the least human. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll come back here. So, 407 leads to... Uh, Sophie. And I'm pretty sure I need to kill her later as well. I'm pretty sure we can't go to the fourth floor yet. Okie dokes. Party time! Oh god. Looks like there's a big party taking place, but where are all the guests? Oh, that is eerie. What the hell? Whoa! Is this one of them? I think so. It doesn't look like a monster to me. No. But it doesn't mean she hasn't got one hiding inside of her. It's hard to say because of the mask, but she seems pretty upset. Go away. Don't. So she's the next one, I think. Look at me. Please. Well, Sophie, Sophie is someone who clearly had the same illness that his wife has. Come on, it's a party. Come on, it's a party. Yeah, no. 18th birthday party. Just look at all these people. I will never be like them. Never. But why? Uh, you don't have to like them. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to be like them. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh, you're only nice to me because you see it too. You know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. The only thing I know how to do. The only thing that comforts me. Oh, does she hurt herself? The only thing that's left. You're gonna eat. Yes, I'm gonna eat. Oh, she has bulimia. Okay, gotcha. Big, like a disgusting, hungry animal. I will eat until this stupid, fat body explodes and scatters the room. My bloody trails. But uh, why? Harrison, I was a fool thinking you could ever fall in love with someone like me. Oh no. He said. He said I'm fat and ugly. Girl, and you I don't need him. Oh, and kill myself. Oh my god. He's just a toxic troll. Tell him he has a tiny pee pee. So I will. He has a weak pee pee energy. Fuck Harrison. You'll find someone better. Stupid Harrison Ford. You even understand love. There will never be anyone like him. He's an asshole. But without him, I'm nothing. 
Oh, come on. It's fucking sad how many people, like, actually feel this way about someone else, especially girls. It doesn't have to be this way. Maybe. But I've already made up my mind. So please. Leave me alone now. I just want to sit here quietly a little longer before I <laughs> go away. Okay, she doesn't want to talk. Oh! Wait, is that him? That is him. We found our man. I think it belongs to Harrison. Take your hands off my jacket, you asshole. Oh! There's something in one of the pockets. Maybe I should ask Agnes to distract him for a moment. I could talk to him first. He looks really smug and stinks of booze. How's the party? It's all good. Go ahead, man. Grab a beer. Like I Yeah, did. beer. You look like you've had one too many. You look like you've had one too many. Well, it's none of your fucking business, dude. Dude? <laughs> You're right. It's not. Just between me and you and the lovely bride over there, the birthday girl's got the huts for me, man. That girl's ass... That girl's ass is the size of a football stadium. I don't think I can do it without getting super wasted. Oh, come on, dude. You're... No, first of all... You're absolutely wrong. You're being toxic. Just tell her you're not interested. Yeah, but maybe I will be. Later. I just need a few more oh, beers. Oh, my God. Hey, you wouldn't have a... A cigarette, would you? I'm all out, and I'm... Fucking dying for a smoke. Fucking dying for a smoke. Fucking. Fuck off. You fuck off. <laughs> unless you, unless you buy cigarettes, then uh, we could be friends again. Agnes, can you keep him busy for a moment? Sure, but why? I want to take a look at his coat. But we can see it quite well from here. Yeah, but not inside the pockets. Hey there, got a moment? You will not believe what happened. I just have to tell someone about it. Oh my god, I don't know what happened. Dude, he's standing right there. Come on, search pockets. Keto's room, sweet! If you stop talking for just a moment, sweetheart. How about I show you my room? Uh, I don't think so. No. Come on, girl. You know you want to. It's time to go, honey. Hey, piss off, dude. Leave it be, man. She said no. Oh my god. I like I I I hate that I'm so drawn to some of the more toxic dialogue because uh, like there's more of it, you know what I mean? Like she he might say more if I don't say anything. Um Leave it, man. She said no. Huh? Are you deaf or something? No means no. Yeah. So stop pestering Consent. her. Consent! How is that any of your fucking business? We can go outside and I'll show you how, you asshole. Yeah! <laughs> Beat him up. Nah, I've had too much to drink to fight you. So just fuck off, both of you. Okay, bye. Now, where is this? Actually, let, we need to examine the key. Hold on. You okay? Yeah, thanks. I shouldn't have asked you to do this. That guy's a douchebag. I thought you were gonna punch him. I can still punch him if you want. No. I'm glad you didn't. It's not worth it. But thanks for stepping in, Joe. You're a real gentleman. The bottle of castor oil never to be <laughs> combined with blueberry pies. Okay. Oh, key two three. Okay. Alrighty ho, let's go. I'm gonna go cause some ruckus. Two or three. Sick boy, we got this, chat. We got this. 
this hotel really uh definitely has some shining vibes as well it's like a mix it's like a weird mixture of silent who uh, silent hill <laughs> i can't talk yeah oh, sorry um it's like a weird mixture of uh silent hill 2 and the shining for me with a little bit of there's some other stuff in there i guess wait did i go up past it oh two or three it's right here i think Sick boy, let's go inside. This room's probably stinky. Dresser. There's a torn out page sticking out of the book. I'll take it. I've already taken the page. The book itself doesn't seem important to me. What the hell? That sounded like a door opening. Oh my god. Examine drawer. Sticky tape and some money. Sticky tape? What the hell is he gonna do with tape? Fuck is wrong with this guy? Um, Take everything. Never hurts. Open drawer. I think that's it. Yeah, I think we got it. Hell yeah. Pick up cigarettes. Sick. Bruh. I love how we used his money. Like, we robbed him, but then we used his money to buy cigarettes for him. So it's like we're doing him a service. Fuck this guy. I smoke right in front of him. The urge is still strong, but I don't want to get addicted again. It only takes one. Oh, I see. Cigarette? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, man. You can't smoke here. See that sign? Yeah, get out. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go smoke in... real? Dude. Who gives a shit? Go smoke in the bathroom. Go smoke in the bathroom Look, right now. You'll just trigger off the fire alarms and the sprinklers. Do we really want to get drenched? No well, smarking! That would ruin my hair. Oh, There's just... a bathroom just there. Go smoke in the bathroom. Now that's a great idea. No Laters. smarking. Laters, dudes. No smarking. Uh, no, the question is, how do I turn on the gas? Let's go see him first. What the? Done already. Yeah, I have to make it quick. Someone's left a fucking mess in there. Ooh. Shit, wait a second. Yeah, this... Oh, so he can actually see this? Someone's left a mess in here. Um, yeah. Uh, that won't work because we need to give that guy a new brain. Just let me check the kitchen first. So what what exactly can we add? Switch on. Can we add weed? Can we add... No. Cook weed every day. What about the pig? Poor piggy. Yeah. Don't start feeling sorry for it. It was born to die. Oh. Pigs are really intelligent, you know. Their brains are very similar to ours. A pig is a pig. That's all it is. Bring it back. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I did take something from him. What? You don't want to know. Can you give it back? No. no. But now he's being a bitch about it. But isn't he dead? Somehow it didn't stop him from pulling that lever back. And I've got a feeling he'll do it again and again. So if you can't give him what he wants, then maybe we can bring him something else instead. Yeah. Let's look around for a replacement. I already know what to do. So let's go get it. Mm -hmm. Still don't know what what it is about this painting. Salmon. She's got a nasty smile on her face. I feel like her eyes have been falling around the room. <gasps> Chad, I know what to do. I know what to do, chat. Whoa! Whoa! 
Hidden passage. Go through. Oh, I'm so smart. Look at all the luggage. Holy moly. Door. Enter. Oh my god, that sound. A bottle of gin. Not really my sort of drink. You? Okay, let's take this. Also me. Painting. Have I seen this woman before? No, that's impossible. Who is it supposed to be? Is it like the manageress? Or is it Susan? Body. So this is why we, he, ne he never came back. Take saw. Yes. The pig's brain. We need a pig brain. Try it. I know. She's like, oh no, I can't watch this. I love her. I, I, I adore Agnes. She's adorable. She looks like a little elf. I'm telling you, Joe, wife that shit up. Time for a pig brain. I yeah. Chop that shit up. Oh my god! Why was it not dead? Brain. Pick up. Ugh. Sick, bruh. Don't I have to, like, do something with this shit? Like, don't I have to... Pig brain. Examine. It's not that different from human brain at all. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Why do I have that image in my head that I have to, like, cook the brain? I might be mixing it up with something else. All right, let's go up. See, we have cooking herbs. We have a brain. We have some gin. It could be a good meal. <clears throat> Make a nice Sunday roast. Okay. So... There, I've brought it back. Okay, so now we pull this. I switched it on. Now don't freaking touch it. Uh, so we give this guy a cigarette. Wait, um, before I go in, before I do that, actually, let me check the bathroom. <clears throat> we, I think we have to turn on this thing here. Is this gas I smell? Maybe just a chicken burger. I've got it under control. Don't worry. I got it under control. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Force this bastard to smoke. Wait, I can give him gin? Can I? I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm really curious. I don't think get him, him, getting him even more drunk would help me with anything. But uh, he asked for a cigarette, maybe I can just give him that. Here. Give you one. Give you a damn cigarette. Do you want another one? Go smoke. Why the fuck not? I know, I know. This lady doesn't like the smoke. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. No, you won't. Wait for it, chat. <clears throat> Wait for it. They say smoking kills. Um, well, at least he went out with a bang. But now he's only half the man he used to be. Oh, no. Now he's half the man he used to be. Shut up, Joe. 
Just shut up. Oh, come on. That was a good one. Can't do anything with his body. All right, let's check what's in here. That's another part of the mirror. All right. <clears throat> Well done, Joe. I hope you're happy now. Whoa. I... I had to do this. Yeah, yeah. I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You are? Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. Can and you not just wait outside? Stay close, please. Hmm, I wonder if I could... What the hell? <laughs> no, I'm not all right. What happened? Oh, I no. tripped over some legs. Harrison, always an asshole. Even after death, he's a fucking day. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. Girl, I told you you should have. Oh my god, she should have stayed there. <gasps> Secret passage. Mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! 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 Coast clear yet? All right. It depends. It depends. It depends on what? It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good, to be perfectly honest. Then keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. Inspect. What? Recipe. Rotten human head, it seems to be looking straight at me. Fake recipe. This is crazy, but... The message carved on the head, it makes me think I should use it for something. You're still not looking, are you? Why? <clears throat> is it okay to look now? No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Eat me! Oh yeah, we're totally fine. Hole. Head like a hole! Oh, that's the hole we came through. Head like a hole. Right through the soul. All that's left of her is this lump of fat. Oh, God, Chad, this is getting like really grim. This is one of the things I have like the most vivid memory of, I think. My fattening smoothie recipe. Deep fried belly fat, one pint of castor oil, glass of spirit, one human head, oregano, one leaf. Blend it together and enjoy. Press any key to enjoy. Oh, we literally have everything. Right cooking we're about to cook something so let's add oh what do we add the head not here do we add the fat we probably need to fry the fat castor oil all right let's fry this fry some fat so you're cooking us dinner now no it's not for us oh cooking good, good. Because they're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No. I think I'll try anyway. Gordon Ramsay would have a lot to say about this right now. It sounds like eggs. Under. So what can we do? Do I, do I put the head in the blender? J uh, Agnes would freak out if she knew that I took this with me. All right, head in the blender. <laughs> Rotten head in the blender. Oh. What are you doing there, Joe? Uh. Uh. Cooking. Is that is that a human head? Uh. He's following a recipe. Sure. Wait, why do we still have our the fat? Oh, because I haven't actually put it on. Oh my god, I'm silly.
Oh, juicy. So juicy sounds. Can we add some herbs to this? Yep. Add some herbs to the blender. Cooking with catastrophe. Uh, turn it on the... Take deep fried fat. So hot. I can't just stick my hand in there. Hey, I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thank you, actually, yeah. Did she just touch my butt? She totally did. You're welcome. <laughs> just, and now it's even more disgusting. Yay. Whoa there, he's a married man. Calm down. <laughs> Uh, and I still think we need to add some gin. Oh my god. Something's still missing. Oh wait, what? What's missing? Oh, lady in a hat, always watching, always smiling. She must not see. Blind the bitch. Oh, that would have been a clue for earlier. I didn't even see that. Do I need to add castor oil to this as well? Oh, I do. Okay. Sick boy! Sorry for freaking out like that, but that grinding noise, it was too much. I know. But remember, we're doing this for Ivy. Yeah, I know. She'd better be worth it. Come on then, and don't forget to take your smoothie. <laughs> Budget Nine Inch Nails. No, but for real, like, I, I feel like a lot of the Harvester games kind of have that going for them. I, I love Nine Inch Nails, by the way. Like, I'm a big fan. So I'm always down for jammies. All the jammies. Didn't young Sophie say she wants to eat until she dies? Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, she's not here. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No, I'm not spooked. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the hall? I bet it's got something to do with her. Oh, yeah! You think she took it? But where? Hmm, maybe. But I don't think... really know which room that is. I don't think she would bury some him. Other place we could try first. Hospital? Kind of too late for hospitals, don't you think? <laughs> Harrison's room? The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Oh, bury him was the, the joke option. Okay, god damn it. Let's get out of here, nerds. I love how we were talking about delicious food in the chat earlier. And then now after this, everyone's like, uh, maybe not. Ivy. Ivy. You're alive. <gasps> oh, that was disgusting. The sound, Chad. The sound. What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. No. It 
Cat's Ivy. Just there. On the floor. Really? Where? Yeah, she can't see him. Because it was a freaking hallucination! I can't see anything. She was there just a minute ago. I saw her. Get torn in half. Joe, <laughs> you're either losing the plot or... You really love her, don't you? She wanted me to let her go. But I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never stop loving her. The thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. Ha. Huh. I'd give you a medal if I had one, but I don't, so how about a fist bump? Eh, yeah, sure, why the hell not? Mm-hmm. Sure. Gotta prevent my dry, salty lips. Oh my god, that sounded like a bump smack or something. Room 203, right there. Oh, it's <gasps> you. Hello. Come in, come in. Oh, aren't you going to say hello, darling? We've got visitors. Okay. Must forgive Harrison. He's feeling a bit poorly today. <laughs> No worries. Let him sleep. No worries. Let him sleep. Oh, I'm so excited. We've had a good talk and he's promised to change his ways. Now, he will never walk away from me again. <laughs> he couldn't if he tried. Are you hungry? I... I should be on a diet, but it's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. I Relationship goals! My secret recipe! Oh, I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, I've got it, and I made it for you. Oh, so nice of you. I shouldn't, but we'll make it a little secret, right? <laughs> After all, it would be a shame to waste a good smoothie. This, uh, might get disgusting. Mm, so good. Really? Are you feeling all right? Yes. Wait, I... I don't know. I left a funny aftertaste in my mouth. Hmm. Do you add oregano? Uh, weed, but oh, oh, oh. Oof. my stomach. I feel sick and bloated. What's happening to me? Uh oh, origami. <laughs> oh. We done, Joe. It's fine. We did what we had, we had to. to do. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Now what? Which ones are still left alive? We killed the one in the bathroom. We killed the one downstairs. We killed this one. Wait, why does it kind of look like a person? Joe, yeah, you noticed that too. Do you realize how hard it is <gasps> to wash blood off these carpets? Oh. We just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious talk. Uh oh. I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. Joe. Whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. 
Yeah? I just feel it. She's not a real person. The manageress seems to be the only staff member here. We already looked at that, right? Ah, oh, and here's my American boy. I knew you'd come, but I didn't think you'd bring a chaperone with you. I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. What's stopping you, Joe? I don't have a weapon. I'm not a murderer. I lost my gun. Oh, that's a shame. But guns are boring anyway. How about an ox? Now that's a weapon for a real man. You should have warned us. You should have told us to leave. But Joe, I'm running a business here. I can't just tell my guests to leave, can I? Now, that would be so rude. So you know about the Axe Man? Who the hell is he? He was a good man. Once. Then his bitch wife pushed him to insanity. And now he's uh -oh. just doing what he's called to do. But what does he want from me? Your head, darling. It's time you've told me who you really are. You know very well who I am. What? I am your secret little desire, Joe. Oh. Your perfect woman. Oh. I'm never bitter. It is. Or tired or not in the mood. Instead, I'm composed. It's like Maria. And Ooh. And spontaneous. I don't burden you with my baggage of problems. I don't poison your life. I don't hide from you. Now is the perfect time for us to reconcile. To forget about that little bitch, Ivy. To run away. Hi, Hanik. Welcome. Happy Friday. What do you say, Joe? <gasps> no. I'm not oh, that kind crashed. of person. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems. And you were always there for her. But no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. You know what? I helped you once before, when I left that key on the desk. I'll help you again, just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem mm. to think. But let's play a little game first. I want you to follow me to a special place. We're not following you anywhere, right, Joe? The little mouse can talk. Hmm. You have a strange taste in women, Joe. I've got something you need. A perfect weapon. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. Oh, really? We're not gonna do it, are we? No. I know you don't trust <gasps> her, but we might have no choice. Oh, God. A perfect weapon. The perfect. The perfect, uh, the, the weapon to surpass Metal Gear. There we go. Yeah, what the hell? Look. So uh, it's probably pre-rendered or something. <laughs> so. All right. Follow a trail. Um. Shoe. Oh my god. It's her shoe. Stinky. Let's go this way. So much for following the trail, but this door leads to a staircase. She's probably gone downstairs. Okay. Oh my god, look at the elephant! It's holding a blouse! Perverts, it's a titty elephant. Oh, little titty. Oh, he likes titties. She went this way. Uh, well, she's not here, so maybe the kitchen? Oh wait, what's that? There's something there. Stocking? <gasps> Black stocking. Clearly she's left it here for me. Yay. Where are we going? Sh skirt. It's the black skirt that she had on. I like how Agnes is just following him. 
Open fridge. Wait, there's something on the floor though. Why can't I? What is that? Is that? Is that another stocking? It looks like panties. Chat, what is that? I can't interact with it, but it literally looks like panties. Um, a secret passage inside a fridge? Should I be surprised? Uh oh. Fridge door. Panties? White panties, we must be getting closer. She's already taking most of her clothes off. Wait, I just realized, why am I examining all this? Oh God, she's gonna call that out, isn't she? She's gonna be like, ah, you want this. It's the door she went through and something's hanging over it. It looks like a bra. Bruh. Oh no, chat. Chat! Monka TOS, cover your eyes. Uh, speak to your local priests. And, uh, you know. Come on, Agnes. Just a second. I think I saw something. Oh boy. Turns out it was nothing. Oh. Hey, wait for me! Hey, wait for me! I'm playing as Agnes now. Uh, excuse me. Joe, let me in. Did you guys hear? Shit. Do you hear the voice, the demonic voice on the other side? Whoa. Ivy? Agnes and Ivy? Huh. Only darkness this way. Darkness. Okay now. Agnes. Okay now, guys, avert your eyes. What took you so long, handsome? Ew. Oh no. Welcome to my private bedroom, Joe. No. Don't be shy. It's a demon. She's totally a demon. My sensors. I just realized I'm gonna need to censor this for YouTube. Um. Why don't you just explain all this to- You're beautiful! He starts simping over here. Uh. Why won't you just explain all this to me? What's there to explain? Isn't it obvious that we fancy each other? Yeah, she's a succubus. I don't fancy you. No? Then tell me this. On your way here- Oh my, my god, parents. I knew she- Did you examine them? <sighs> Bruh, I'm playing a game. Yes. Yes, but I was just... No excuses, Joe. You couldn't resist and that's okay. I wanted you to examine them. Ugh. But really, Stinky. I just want to understand what's going on here. Oh. But didn't we already have this conversation? Twice. Yeah. But every time we do, you tell me exactly nothing. Fine. I'll tell you a secret. Okay. This hotel is built on an ancient Indian burial ground. Hmm. Wh what? <laughs> You'd believe anything at this point, wouldn't you? Except the truth, of course. That one is always hot to Yeah, decide. it's not built on anything. <laughs> You're beautiful. What happens? Oh yeah, if you simp over her, she may- like, sh she- yeah, you'll see. 
Why are you trying? Why are you trying to seduce me? Because you and me are a perfect match, Joe. We are meant to be together. Just imagine this. No more silent treatments. No more crazy talk. No more of any of that shit. You don't deserve it. You never did. Wait, I've seen this. I've seen this axe before. Oh, this axe. This axe. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's just an ordinary fire axe. We keep it here in case of, you know, fire. Oh shit. But there's blood on it. <sighs> Maybe just a drop or two. What is it doing here? It's a gift for you. I told you. This axe will be your final weapon. You're expecting me to murder somebody with this axe? Oh, don't play innocent, Joe. You've already murdered a bunch of people today, and some animals. They were not real people. Look, I'm not saying it bothers me. All I want is for us to be together. But that's not going to happen unless you take this axe and remove that one last obstacle. Oh, I know which obstacle I can remove. You. Well, you could take an axe and kill me, I suppose. But that wouldn't be very wise. And why is that? The way I see it, you've been the biggest obstacle all along. There is something way worse, Joe. You fail to realize that because she's always had this smile on. What are you talking about? gonna try to gaslight me the creature standing right behind you Why? you didn't mistake her for a friend by any chance did you that sweet naive little agnes her only purpose was to stop you in your tracks except she was lying to you all i think along. she's gaslighting us she's gaslighting us this is the real agnes the parasite that you have to still kill. prettier than you I don't believe you. It's your choice. But deep down, you know what you've got to do. Grab that ox. Take a big swing. And fuck her up. Actually, she's, she's just standing there. She's absolutely not a demon. So now it's my fire axe. Let's just see how it feels in my hands. You can do it, Joe. Yeah, I um, I just wanna ask you a question. You really think I'll fall for these lies? Ha! Yes. That's the second titty bitch we uh, cut up. Yes. Nice. You did it, Joe. You did it. You resisted your temptations. I'm proud of you, my boy. Be gone, Todd. Sophie, I'm coming for you. Oh my God. This is the end oh shit holy shit guys look he's determined i don't know where the fuck i'm going i'm just gonna follow this hallway oh that's a dead end apparently <laughs> oh wait i think uh, no it's over there yes yeah, right there enter we're so determined. We're so determined. Gonna go home and murder somebody. Red rum. Let there be red rum. Oh, he's on the warpath now. But she came through here. 
Great, she locked the door behind her, but that's not gonna stop me. The X-Men. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Where is this man going? Is that like an ostrich or something in the background? That was Susan's room, yeah. You'll see, keep watching. So this is uh, basically Susan and her lived in the same place. What the fuck is this? You guys see this? I'm back home. It's addressed to me. Looks like I don't need the axe anymore. What? You always need an axe. Oh! Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you okay? You don't need an axe? You're just gonna get something bigger and better, huh? If I play the piano after dark for two minutes. Yeah. But no one does anything when there's real bloody noise in the middle of the night. <sighs> it seems to be coming from Joe's flat. So this is really weird because remember Joe said they live in flat four, but flat four is Susan's apartment. Oh no, it's running low again. Uh, what a mess. I bet it's me who will end up cleaning up all of this. That big piece of glass could be useful, but it looks too sharp to pick up with my bare hand. Great, the fire axe is missing. I always knew it was a bad idea to put a murder weapon on display like this. The door's wide open. Hello? I love how Susan always gets roped up in everyone's shit. As if she doesn't have enough to deal with on her own. You know? End of the road, bitch. Just ask the cat. Wait, if he's come home... I, I, it's, it's, does he murdering his wife's, like, eating disorder? His wife's self-image? Oh my god, chat. Oh, chat, are you ready for this? Yeah! Let's go! God.
It's E.T. He's come home. makes me feel like I'm being watched. Wait, so I'm confused. Did he actually, what if he actually killed his wife? Like he just came home in a fit of rage and killed her. And now he's hallucinating. I don't think it's like that though, but it's just, it's just a thought. Oh. Oh. Okay. What do we got here? Sorry, my microphone is like literally in my mouth. Oh! It's Ivy. Yeah, Heinrich, this game is very, um, very deep. I, I super recommend you guys check out my VODs. For nothing. For nothing? Oh, she's dead? Except I will never give up on you. Never. There's still a way to bring you back. Oh. Come. Damn, that's like some Silent Hill 2 shit. Holy crap. Susan's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Uh, 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 fuck this shit, I'm out. Fine, let's go inside. Yeah, so now he's obsessed with the idea of bringing her back like a zombie. This hole leads right into the Morrison's old flat. It's changed to chained to the floor. Very odd. What the fuck? Meal. Looks like flies are having a great time on the disgusting plate of rotten food. Was he trying to like force feed her? What the fuck was going on in here? Why would anyone have a lock in a bedroom dresser? What's he hiding in here? What was Joe planning to do with this rope? Alright, so we're gonna drop into the hole. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god. I got- I got weirded out for a second. I was like, what's going on here? Oh no, this is- this is very, uh, Silent Hill 2 rebirth ending. Where am I taking her? cabinet. Well, we can't open the cabinet with the rope. Unless we tie the rope to the cabinet door and tie the other end to the chair and then hang the chair through the hole. <laughs> that's like a really bizarre way to open it. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's not what we do. We use the rope. I'll tie it to the chair. Yeah. It should easily hold my weight. Yeah, because you're skinny AF. I guess I'm a grandpa now. Grandpa fashion. Grab the rope! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Oh, here we go. Wait, so what- Where do you think you're going? Huh? Excuse me? What you got there, son? Another dead body to add to the list? Dad? You know, your mother always loved Robbie more. Oof. He was such a happy kid. Why, dude? Always smiling. Ooh, gotta do this. And you. You let him fucking die. Oh, come on. It was an accident, and you know it. You were supposed to watch him. Is it so hard to take care of your younger brother for five fucking minutes? He didn't want to listen. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore. My life ended the moment. Dude. Oh, she killed herself. You remember. You were there too. Oh, shit, dude. You didn't even cry. Go to hell. Go to hell. I'll finish my cigarette and I'll go. There's nothing left for me here. You're a grown man. 
It's almost Damn yours you. now. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry. Enjoy. It does sound a little bit like Barry. Yeah, what a douche. What a douche of a dad. Tofit, please stop! My cat is ruining this very emotional moment. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's my cat. It's my cat. Stop it, you little shit. Um, okay. Oh no. So there never was a hotel after all. Well, there kind of is. Let's put Ivy down. Ah, I see you have taken matters into your own hands, young man. I do appreciate a good initiative, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. I thought you were dead. No, no, no. Death is but a state of mind, and my mind has always been a wandering one. What do you want? I felt inclined to inform you that what you are trying to achieve here is, well, pointless. Why? It worked before. I brought Agnes back. This whole idea was flawed from the start. There simply isn't enough power here to alter the subject's state of mind. No one has that kind of power. Oh, it's kind of like a well, electric the shocks. Subject herself, perhaps. But as you see, sadly, she is not willing to cooperate. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Yeah. You are a stubborn one. So fine, go and see for yourself. Do it. Just do it. Do it now. <laughs> Lever chair generator. It uh, must take so much electricity to power up this thing. This is also some kind of symbolism, I guess. Everything's symbolism, chat. This lever turns on the machine. Fine. <gasps> Someone's screaming. Oh, Jesus. Great. This can only mean one thing. Joe's lost the plot. I always knew there was something wrong with him. Just stay calm, Susan. You can deal with this. One step at a time. I've been there before. You're the cat lady. It always starts. Oh my god. With a weapon. Ugh. I can't. Like, I keep staring at her feet now. Like, it triggers me, chat. I can't. Ooh, the rope in the chair, though, it's kind of like... There's like a lot of little allusions to suicide. Yeah, we need something to open that uh, drawer with, I guess. Chair? Mannequin arm. This arm could be useful in many ways. Yeah, something a lot more sinister going on in here. Front door open. Great, someone's put a new lock on this door. Broomstick ladder. Ah, it's you again. Sadly, only a shadow of your former self, but maybe you can help me again. Oh no, is Susan gonna do the weapon crafting thing she does? Yeah, seven. Has someone been cooking here? Is this? Oh god. There are charred remains of a cat inside. The bastard! He actually did all this stuff, but he like imagined he was in a hotel. Oh no! Crafting table. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, what are we looking at? Is that a butt? <laughs> Shit, that's scary. Imagination is a hell of a drug. I know, I'm so angry about that cat. Pick skull. Oh my god. I need more shit to craft a weapon. Ladder? There's something shiny stuck inside the pipe, but there's no way I'm putting my arm in that filthy sewer water. Hey, James would. James would do it. That's where the scream came from. I shouldn't go inside without a weapon. Okay, gotcha. Do we have anything long? Oh, the broom, maybe. Manhole. Broomstick. I can't quite catch it with this. I need something more pointy. Hmm. Cat skull. Oh, because she's the cat lady, get it? What about the arm? Did the arm work? Yes! Sick boy! Yuck. Yuck. Oh, I can't. Like, there's something about just uh, pipes. I know everyone thinks they're gross, but like there's I can't handle drain pipes, man. That's like one of the most disgusting things for me. Um Okie dokes. So I need to check in the bathroom as well. Uh actually. Another pipe. There's an old rag stuck inside the pipe. Maybe I should just take it out. Oh yeah, take it. Actually, I know what we can do with this rag. Got a sink? Broken. I'm having a long hot bath once I'm done with this, but not here, obviously. 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 Oh, wait, what was that? Mannequin. If you were alive, that blade would have been already stuck in my throat for sure. Take blade. I have to be careful not to cut myself. Cabinet. This must be the cabinet key, chat. So let's see what's inside. What is it so precious that he's been trying to hide? There's nothing but clothes here and some duct tape. That could be useful. I'm taking it. Yeah, actually, that's how we craft our weapon. And now we just need to go outside and grab the... Uh, a thing outside, wherever the fuck I was. Their apartment is huge. Um, broken glass. So we're gonna take this cloth. There we go. Susan, Susan's always so careful, I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we just need to go down. Uh, to the crafting table. So down to the crafting table we go. We're gonna build something nice. Yeah, boy! We gotta use the cat skull, come on. I screw this skull on top to make it more sturdy. That cat is gonna have its revenge! Right. Done. The ultimate cat lady weapon. Yes. I didn't have to use tape. All right, chat. I think uh, we're approaching endgame right now. Justice work? for the kitty. Ivy. Really? 
We're gonna get murderized. It just walks off. <laughs> yeah, so I think all of the stuff that's happened here is like hallucinated. No. You useless piece of junk. <gasps> you it's... worthless fucking shit. Oh. Anger issues. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. This guy? That girl was the size of a jet plane. And now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. That's pretty fair if you ask me. What is this guy's problem? She was tiny. Oh, this dick. It's people like you. It's people like you who made her think this way. Yeah. No matter how many times I told her she was beautiful, it was always there. This sickness. This twisted state of mind. It's all your fault. Your lies. Your idea of a perfect woman. But she was already perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? And there are never lies, Joe. You know what she saw looking in it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. But I killed you. What are you still doing here? But she is nothing like that. This is fine. Kata finds in the chat. What does it make now? You found a way to fix that, didn't you, Joe? Because you always knew what's best for her. She looks she like was Sophie. Starving herself to death. <laughs> well, you know what they say: no pain, no gain. This is fine. Totally fine. I was just trying to save her. It's not your fault. Is that Agnes? Oh, it's his brother. Shit. You shouldn't be here, little brother. I'm always here. I don't want you to see this. It's okay, Joe. I understand. Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. But if he could answer that, he would have said, Give up. This is the end. Accept it and embrace it. This is not the end. Find another way. Naive little fool. You are the sixth parasite. And the sixth changes everything. I have no idea what you are talking about, you crazy woman. up joe agnes missed me yes actually i thought you were dead where were you i kept looking for you but i couldn't find you until now that is it's good to see you agnes you know i i failed she she's dead that's exactly why I'm here, Joe. You can't bring Ivy back because something is missing. And I know what it is. But how? Because I finally got it. I know who I am. And I know why I'm here.
You are my little light in this overwhelming <laughs> A tiny glimpse of hope I can hold on to. You're the part of Ivy I fell in love with. I kind of want her to answer. Who are you? You really haven't figured it out yet. <sighs> Joe, you're such a dummy. But I will miss you anyway. Are you... Going oh, somewhere? it's... Mm. More like... Returning where I belong. Yeah. Come. I do think she's like the part of Ivy that he loved, essentially. And now, because Ivy's dying, she's... No. Gonna have to die, too. It's okay, Joe. Just switch it on. Let's bring her back to life. Except she will not come back, will she? This lever turns on the machine. Oh, this is not gonna work, right? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm guessing. Joe. If this works... Be good to her. I would never hurt you, and you know that. We can start again here. You look so cute in my Nirvana t-shirt. I like holding you in my arms when you're so Oh, it's all the answers from before. I can imagine spending the So if you had been an asshole to her, you would have heard all of it again. It really is like the flower She's corridor. There, making myself sick. I'll help you. We can beat this shit together, Ives. No. Are you mad at me? I could never be mad at you. That's not what I said. I love Oh my god, Susan just gonna stab him in the back. Oh. oh my god. Sorry, neighbor, but I happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. Oh, <laughs> Susan. She's such a boss bitch, dude. I love her. Oh, what the heck? Poor girl. I was too late to save you. You're late. Mitzi. Mrs. A? I heard noises and are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own. Thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask him. What the hell? Don't touch her. You can crying her with these electric wires. So stay back, Mitzi. There's a switch over there. Let's shut it down. Wait. Hmm, this is strange though. I think. I think she's alive. Oh man. Well, we just killed your husband. Oh, crying out loud. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Oh. Go. She was alive and then that. Oh, great. Oh, what the heck? Yaks. He's alive! He truly is the Axe Man.
Oh shit. Oh crap. What happens now? We have to run, Ivy. But it's okay. I, I know a place. A small countryside hotel. The kind you always like. Shit. We can start again. We will start again there. On one end, I, I think I remember in the main game, in the Cat Lady, that Susan mentioned something about a fire. It might take place after the ending of the Cat Lady, but before, obviously, before Mitzi and all that, before she dies. Because remember, they still had some time together. Score 23 out of 27. Ending A on the run. Yeah, so he actually did end up taking her to a hotel but when she was dead and he was trying to like revive her. I gathered that. He was trying to do the whole rebirth, you know, Silent Hill 2 rebirth ending thing, but in a hotel. But yes, like it's, I really love that the vagueness of this, it really makes me, makes you speculate like what actually happened here. It's really convoluted. But yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Holy shit, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Murderer escape from crime scene by Bill Hookway. Authorities are investigating the cause of fire that broke out in the apartment building at Elena Road last night. Firefighters have discovered several bodies inside. Our sources confirmed that at least five of them had already been dead when the fire started. Suspected of the crime is Joe D, one of the residents of the building. A witness saw him carrying a charred body towards his car. The police are looking for him, but as of now, his whereabouts are unknown. Press any key to leave. I love Downfall. Such a good game.